I don't know why I think this is funny. In my last video, at the end of it, I asked, the, I said the riddle, what is the opposite of I am not leaving? And I, I think I think this is funny because I didn't get it. And I said something like, you are, I don't know what I, I was trying to figure something out. But the opposite of I am not leaving is I am leaving. There you go. Maybe you got it, maybe it was obvious to you, maybe you didn't, but either way, this is my last video, and I, uh, I hope you have been following along and learning, so we'll see when we get to class. Our third example, hopefully again, that you've uh, already done this one, and now you're just looking to see what the answer is. Traces of burned wood along with ancient stone. Okay, uh, original amount of carbon-14, so... Important information, 1.67%. If the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,600 years, approximately when was the tree cut and burned? Okay, so might seem like this is a daunting task, but it's just really a matter of interpreting what is being asked. So you've got this wood uh, dug up, and they're just trying to figure out how old it is. Okay. And it says half-life of carbon-14 is 5,600 years. So the first thing you need to do is figure out the K. All right, and um, we've done this a million times. Take the ln of both sides, divide by what's left over, and you get ln of 1 half over 5,600 is it equal to T, okay? And, sorry, equal to K. And that's the value that we plug into the calculator. Let's do that, ln of 0.5 divided by 5600. Okay, store that in alpha A, and we're good to go. So we have our value for K stored. Now we can answer the question. The, um, let's see, the traces of burn wood along the ancient So these, uh, these relics that were dug up contain 1.67% of, of the original amount. So what does that mean? Well, that means if you started with 100, so if n sub 0 is 100, then that means that n would be equal to 1.67. Okay. That makes sense? Well, if it's because 1.67 is 1.67% of the original amount. So if the original amount is 100, 1.67 would be the uh, the new amount, okay? And if you multiply that by e to the kt, if you divide both sides by 100, well, then 1.67 divided by 100, remember, multiply by 100, you move the decimal to the right. That means then that when you divide by 100, you move the decimal two spaces to the left. And so, basically, 0 0.0167 is the ratio of n to n sub 0. And we have e to the k t. So there you go. There's your equation. 0 0.0167 is equal to e to the k t. Okay. I just I in, included this 100 here, just as a reminder of what happens. I didn't want to just jump right from the 1.67 percent to the decimal and not understand why. Okay. But 1.67 percent was left. Think of that as a half life. Like Real, uh, related to the half-life formula, the half-life, remember, is uh, one-half equals e to the kt. Well, if you converted the half-life to a, a percentage, you would say 50% of, of the original amount remained at the end of, like in this case, 5,600 years. So if you convert 50% to the decimal, then you get 0.5. So 0.5 equals e to the k times 5,600. So you could have said half-life, or you could have said 50%. Uh, that takes uh, 5,600 years. So hopefully that's making sense, that, uh, that you don't get hung up on this percentage because it's just another way of saying how much is left over. Okay, so that's probably the hardest part of the problem, is interpreting the problem well enough to get to this point here, because at this point, we do the same thing we've done a million times, and let's take the ln of both sides and divide by k. So we have the ln of 0 0.0167 divided by our k, and that's going to give you give us how much time it took or how old this particular 
these particular objects were. So we have ln of 0.0167, and we're going to divide that by our alpha a, which is where we stored our value. That's 33,000, 33,062, and this is years, 0 0.445, 0.445 years. So there you go. If you didn't get that right, look at it again, try it again. You've seen, maybe rewind the video. And um, that's it for tonight, guys. So hopefully everything's going great, and I will see you in class.